Right, good evening gents, ladies and gents. I just wanted to go for a few things with this. We're fishing tonight, um, local to home, but only over Shetby, just having, a, just literally getting the rods out, to be honest. Um, to be honest, this isn't really gonna be a fishing video, as you've seen by the title. So, shop bought rigs over handmade rigs. Now, not technically true, these are not shop bought rigs. So I bought these off of, uh, I bought this from Jay on Facebook, called Jay's Sea Fishing Rigs. Um, now I do know Jay, I've known him for a good few years to be fair. Um, so I suppose it's, it's a little bit biased, but it, it's not because it's, I, I will tell the truth. Um, I had Jay make me up 20 uh, two loop rigs because as you all probably know, I absolutely hate making rigs. Um, pulley panels and things like that and pulley droppers are, are they're, to be honest they're a piece of piss and they're, they're just as easy but the loop rigs they again they're easy enough to make like, like really easy i just i can't be bothered so what i wanted to do was i'll get what's this one yeah we'll take we'll take just one random one of jay's um and then we'll take one of mine one i have made um just go through them um and go through why i would rather buy a hand tied one because I know this has been hand tied by Jay in his front room um, or in his dining room, whatever, then I would buy, I don't know, some jackal one from, not from, from a tackle shop. Not that, I'm, not that I've got anything against the tackle shops, it's just obviously they buy them. I don't know if I've got anything in here made up, you know, some janky old rig. You know, there you go, look at that, I've got an old leader one in here. Right, we'll show you then. I'll show you the difference. So there's a thingy one. And um, let me just get one of mine out. Let me just get one of mine out. Find one what I want. That one. Which is going to be almost the same as Jay's, really. So, we've got the one bought on Facebook, which is Jay's. We've got a leader one, which is bought from most tackle shops, sell them. And then I've got an homemade one from mine. Let's start with my homemade one. Um, this has been used as well, this rig, so. Yeah. Right, so again, this is just a top loop rig. It's silly things, though, that I look at when I buy a rig or make a rig. The knot, for instance, yeah, it's a bit brown now, but the knot is decent. The tag end's been cut off. It's nice and tight. It's not all mangled. It's a decent knot. Again, the knot on the swivel from the hook there, all right, could probably trimmed it off even more, but that's why I've just bit it off because I'm lazy. But it is a decent knot. Let's have a little look at the knot around the hook. Um, around one of the hooks. Um, now, as I said, these have been used, so there's not just not round the hook, there's a bit of crap round the hook as well. This is one of the Sea Glow Cutters. And for a hook that's been used, there's no rust marks on it, which is very, very good. Um, again, the knot is nice and, nice and uniform, nice and straight, nice and tight. Now, I know that's been made with good swivels, good knots, and decent line as well. I know the line that's been used in that. Let's move on to Jay's. This is brand new, hasn't been out of the packet. He uses the same hooks as I do because he knows the cutter hooks in the nuts. Um, I'm not gonna unwrap it, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna unwrap it. Again, the knot is nicely uniformed. Oh, sorry. Nicely uniformed. All right, the tagging could be a bit shorter, but there's no problem with that because that will just hold the worm up. Um, nice bait stops. Again, a lot of people don't like doing it like that. All he's done is just a bit of tubing and he's sort of poked it through and poked it through again, pulled it tight. Lovely, and that is enough. Instead of using a bait stop bead, but you know what, that is, to use two bits, to go that little extra mile, is shows that someone's taking care. Right now, down to the bottom end. Crimps are, crimped and crimps have been on, crimped, sorry, good. They haven't just been sort of smashed everywhere. They've been crimped nicely, sorry for the focusing. That bottom knot on the top of the imp is also a very nice, good, uniform knot. Um, and it's used to break away imp. Again, these rigs have been built to my specification, so I have asked Jay to, to use 15 pound amnesia line, and he's used 70 or 80 pound um, rig body, which again, you can, the good thing about with Jay, and a lot of rig makers on Facebook, um, you can specify what you want. Now, that to me is the nut. So I've used a couple of them already in other fishing videos, which I think I mentioned we was down the river. We was live actually the other day. Um, they're fantastic, just as good as my own. Um, now, I never used to bother buying um, 
ready-made ones or bookshop bought ones because I just didn't really trust them. The thing is, if I lose a fish on another rig that somebody else has made, whether I've bought it or what, I I'm going to be gutted. If I lose it on mine, I'm going to be gutted, but it's my own fault. Um, I can't blame anyone else. Right, now, let's get this little thing out. This, the reason I've got this is probably because I've bought a job lot of fishing gear. I've chucked it in the box and thought, hey, it might come in handy one day. You never know. You never, ever know. Right, so, looking at these. The crimps are absolutely ginormous. They're far too big. They're far, far too big for the actual line that they're on. The knots, they're not very uniformed. Massive, great big tag ends. I can pull that and that'll go tighter. If I pull that, that'll go tighter and it'll be more uniformed. I don't know if I can get a pull on it, but... No, I can't. I can't get my fingers around it. I don't want to unwrap it all. Um, the bait stops are good on the hooks. The knots are actually not too bad on the hooks. Um, but there are things like that knot there on the weight clip. Now that has got to hold your lead. You can see how mangled it is. It's not it's not pulled tight. It's not been uniformed. It's not it's not tested. Do you know what I mean? When I make a rig, I make sure everything is pulled tight. The top the top swivel, you attach your main line when it focuses, sorry. It's jank, look. It's not uniformed at all. Big tag ends. Um, and the line, who knows what it is? Who knows what line is on that? Um, or the hooks for that matter. So, if, if you're the sort of person that will buy a rig from a tackle shop, I would suggest what you're better off doing is look for somebody local to you, or even not so local. I mean, there's plenty of rig makers on Facebook and places like that. And I'm not trying to take tackle away from the tackle shops because I'm really not. Um, because I'm frightened of losing my own. Medway Tackle Supplies near me. Um, if I didn't have them near me, I'd be a lot worse off than what I am now. Don't get me wrong, they do do me a few favours every now and again. Especially during the lockdown we've had when, when they've been click and clicked and you have to book an appointment and I've needed something because I'm going that day um, and they've let me just, not, not jump the queue, but they've let me nip up there on, the in, on their sort of in-between time because they're absolute diamonds. I probably shouldn't be telling you that, but I am. Um, so yeah, it is like little, it is silly little things like that. Um, so that is my my explanation to why I would buy shop bought rigs. One, because I'm lazy, um, and I know these are handmade. Um, like I say, Jay is on Facebook, so look him up. There you are, Jay's Sea Fishing Rigs. He advertises on a lot of the groups. He does postage, and I think the Turk Loop rig cost me two pound thirty. Um, which is full price. I didn't get no special treatment. He did offer, but I didn't, I didn't take it um, because I, I know what it's like making rigs and I know how much things cost. So for £2.30, a lot of people go, cool, that's a lot of money. But then go and buy your £1.20 crappy rigs and lose gear. Do you know what I mean? It's just, um, it's no good. You all right, Kev? What's up, mate? Sorry, guys, two seconds. Right, sorry about that, guys. That was, uh, that was Kev. Um, you didn't realise I was filming. Right, so yeah, that's just a little bit on like sort of rigs. Um, again, pulley panels, pulley droppers, big rigs, big fish rigs, I will definitely make myself. That's not to say I'm not going to catch a big fish on this, um, but yeah, these, these because these are a bit more, a bit more sort of, I don't know, fiddly, I can't be bothered anymore. Um, for for £2.30, I'd much rather pay, pay Jay to make them for me. And he, he enjoys making rigs. Um, and he makes a bloody good rig. That is... That is very close to my own. There ain't much difference to what I would do there. Or I wouldn't, I wouldn't have the uh, the bait stops again. But that's only because I'm lazy. Because they're there, I'll use them, and I think, do you know what I mean? They're much better, much better. Um, and to add, obviously, sea glow beads in there. All I've got to do, you've seen me. I just put them on the hook if I need to add them, or if I don't. Um, so that is that. Um, while else I'm here, I'm just going to go over a few baiting tips while I am here. Reason being, tonight's fishing trip. It's a very spare at the moment fishing trip. The lads said, I say the lads, Kev said, I really need to go fishing, let's go. Obviously being locked down, um, we're not allowed to travel far, so like the furthest I can really go is probably Sheppy where I am. Um, it's probably about four or five miles as the crow flies. Um, and I travel for more, I travel more for work every day, so I can't really see the problem in that. Um, all I've got around me at the minute is frozen blacks which here we are now with my frozen blacks something that i do is i vacuum pack them yeah i know it's plastic and it's the environment and it's no good but 
it just keeps my bait fresher for longer. I just think it does them, does them the world of good. Um, to be fair, these blacks um, came fishing with me. Um, so, that, so the paper got a bit wet, I think. And I've just chucked, chucked them in the freezer afterwards. Now, let me just get a few out here. Now, I know you all know, you must have all used frozen blacks. You slide it up, you look like a normal black lug. Um, and then, time you reel it in, if you haven't got a fish on it, it's all sagged to the bottom and all gone jank and horrible. Right, now, I'm going to show you, show you a little something, something that hopefully will help that. Hopefully will help that. Look, all this paper, look, this is paper. The paper stuck to it because the paper was wet when it was frozen. So all I've got here is just some sort of baiting needle that I found in my box. And all we're doing... Now, I don't very, I very, very rarely use bait needles, as you all know. Um, I'll stick that on there. But for what I'm doing, I did, I did do this little demonstration in a video actually a couple of weeks ago. Well, maybe a bit longer than that now. Um, but so that's one, two. So I've slid one on the bait needle, as you've seen. And then all I'm going to do now is just poke the bait needle through their edge. You can see them hanging down like that. And then this one. I did do it a little bit different last time, but to be honest, it was a bit, wasn't as good. So that's that. So that is four frozen blacks. Now I know you're saying, oh yes, four frozen blacks, and they're not cheap. They're not not in the northern of the country, but this is uh this is what I'm doing for tonight. With Kevin out of trying for rays because we're over the island, there's always a chance of a ray. I'm just buggering about with one rod and trying for dabs. As I say, tonight I weren't really going to come fishing, but I'm here, so. I'm not going to bother doing a video on the fishing because I know it's going to be pants. So all I'm doing is banding these four worms together, all right? Banding them all together. Quite a bit. This is quite thin elastic. It is quite thin elastic as well. In the old bait binder. Give us a sec, guys. Now that is... A very long sausage of frozen black lug as you can see yeah so now all i would do like for instance i'm using tonight i'm using that them um them two up loop rigs so they're small hooks anyway all i'd do is pull a bit of that sausage off the same sort of size as the hooks because all i'm fishing for is dabs and obviously there's going to be the inevitable whiting and then really i would like a pair of scissors but i haven't got none and there you go, that is just a, like a little lugworm sausage, ideal for the size hooks I'm using. Um, ideal for a size one or size two hook, and it will stay on the hook that little bit longer. Um, keep crabs off for a little bit longer, and it'll also uh, stop it from sagging all at the bottom of the hook. And then on that, so I use, I use four, four blacks. If I chop that up, I've already got one, two, it's three. That's that's probably four. So look, out of them four four blacks, I've got four baits anyway. That one's a bit bigger, um, but it just goes to show you different different ways really. As I say because if I put a black on a normal work, it just comes back all sagging. In fact, when I reel in in a minute, I'll show you. Um, to be honest, I've, I had a bite pretty much as soon as I put it out. I think Kev was saying I had a bite, but um, yeah. Well, look, I, I, there's not really much I can show you guys. Like I say, the fishing at the minute are all in my area of the country that I'm allowed to fish because of obviously this lockdown rules is pretty pants. Um, I'll probably have another little go over the Isle of Grain in a couple of days and see what we can find over there, see if we can find any more flounders. But what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll reel my rod in and if there's any fish, even if it's a whiting, I'll show you. Um, and to be honest, that will probably be the end of the video. Unless anything else happens, any other fish come in, then I might sort of chuck them on the end of it for you. But it, yeah, hopefully, Hopefully that, uh, that helped you out a bit. Right, I'll bring you back. Well, I promised, there it is. Just reeled in the first fish of the night and I'm pretty certain it'll be the first of many. There you go, little whiting. Nah, oh, hold on. That to me, 100%, that is a bite mark there. Well, maybe it's not. But to me, that looks like that looks like a bite, hundred percent. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. That there looks like a bite. Anyway, that is the humble whiting that for people that don't know. 
plagues our shores in the UK um, from, I don't know, end of August, right round until April. And to be honest, they're, they're here all year round in most in, in, in a lot of places. Um, but yeah, they are just an absolute pain. But if they weren't here, then uh, then we'd probably blank a lot more. It's either that or we'd catch the better fish that are out there because these just jump on the hooks within minutes. So yeah, right. What I'll do is I'm gonna go and get this back, and then I will bring you back in a sec and show you them uh, them little bits of luck that I had in a bit. Oh, that's a trick. Right. I'm back. Now, this is me. You can see I've used the uh, the bait elastic before. The only problem with using bait elastic on everything is getting it off. Now, what you need really is a pair of scissors, and I haven't got any in my box tonight, and I don't know why. And as you can see, my knife is snapped. Um, this is my old mate Bob's knife, and I snapped it by being an absolute tit. When we was in Chesil. But somebody did contact me on here, said they might be able to help me out, and I'm just yet to message them. I just keep forgetting. But I will do. I'm going to go and find that message actually, and I'm going to get this something done with this knife. Right. There you have it. All you want to do, hang on, let's lift that up, is just pull it over. Just look. I mean, that. The hook point's showing lovely. All you want to do is just pull it so it goes over the top eye of the hook, and uh, that, to be honest, is all you need. All you need. So there's the, there's the bottom hook, and then um, where's the top hook? And the good thing about um, the good thing about having a little bit of tag end left, I don't know if that's picked. I don't know if that'll pick that up. You see, there's a little bit of tag end left. Ah, probably not picking it up. There's a little tiny bit of tag end left on that. That will get caught. That will get caught in the bait elastic. And hopefully stop it from sliding back down the hook. So all I do is look. There's, there's the, there's the eye. Just pop it over the top. Job done. And then uh, clip it up and whack it out the best I can. But there's that. Well, look. That is, um, that is that for now. Um, if we get any more fish, I will show you. Why not? But um, yeah, it, we'll see how the night goes. Cheers, all. And there we are, just to add to the uh, shocking night of whiting and whiting and more whiting. There's a dogfish. I've gone out with ray baits now. I've, I've stopped with a lug. Um, but yeah, dogfish. That'll be me, to be honest. That'll be the end of the video. Um, no one wants to see that, unless, unless I catch a ray, but I'll probably be shooting off in a minute. Um, yeah, it's a bit different, isn't it? Thanks for watching. Um, just quickly, this video will go out probably tomorrow night now. But um, I... I, this morning when I looked, I was about 80 away from 8,000 subscribers. I'm begging now. Um, I reckon maybe if I'm lucky, I'll probably need 70. I might get 10 more between now and this goes up tomorrow. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please, please do. Um, my, my, my analytics still say that 60% of... 60% um, of... Sorry, 60, 68 and 69% of... Um, people viewers haven't subscribed um so it's only like 30 percent that have subscribed so you 60 percent it honestly it's free just click the subscribe button and it massively massively helps me out um we are well on the way to 10,000 where i'm gonna give away a ziplex fishing rod um to when i hit 10,000 subscribers well i'm gonna go and get this dogfish back um because he's flapping around he's getting the up with me and i will uh, i will see you all in the next one thank you so much for watching in a bit